Welcome to Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, scheduling a workflow in Model Builder. Let's get started. I have a model in ArcGIS Pro that currently I have to run manually, but I'd like to be able to run this on a schedule. For some background, I have some data for Travis County traffic incidents. There's an automated process that keeps this up to date for me. From there, I spatially join it to a hexagonal tessellation that's one square mile. The goal of this is so that I have an updated feature class to assist with some mapping symbology. As you'll see here, each one of these hexagons has a count for each type of issue. In this case, we're looking at loose livestock in Austin, Texas, and you can see in these more rural areas, the counts are higher and line up with the roads. So returning to our model, how do we get this on a schedule? You'll first save your model and then navigate over to the toolbox and double click, or you can right click open. From there, you would set your parameters and you'll notice next to run, there's a drop down. Here you can choose a schedule. You can give it a name, when it will begin, set the date and time by use of dials, and then you can even have it repeat. There's also the option to choose an end time, and then simply click Schedule. You'll notice in the bottom left of your geoprocessing window that it'll say Scheduled. But what if you need to make changes or cancel? Well, you simply navigate over to Geoprocessing History. The reason we're navigating to the Geoprocessing History is because the model's being run as a scheduled tool, and just like other geoprocessing tools that can be scheduled, you can manage it here. Click on the calendar, and you can adjust the schedule of those that have not yet completed, or see the results of your completed. So let's recap. ArcGIS Pro allows you to schedule your model much like you would a geoprocessing tool, but you do have to have version 2.5. You just need to navigate over to your model, either via the catalog pane or the geoprocessing pane, where you can search your model much like you would a tool. Once you type the name of your model, you'll see it appear with the other tools. And you can simply run and schedule from there. I think this is a great stopping point. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact us using the link in the description below. This has been Tesselbytes, where we serve you GIS in small bites. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.